Hey guys, Harry Wilmington here. And from here on out, I am your introvert dating coach. So today, we're gonna to be answering a question from a Reddit user who had an interesting situation happen recently whereby he went to go meet some of his girlfriend's friends at a party and he got anxious, he got nervous, he felt uncomfortable and he left out. And he's feeling now that he may have possibly embarrassed this woman and he wants to know how to handle this kind of situation in the future. Now. If you are an introvert watching this, you probably understand this guy's struggle because meeting new people when you're in a relationship can be a stressful thing. And if you're not going about it the right way, it could cause problems. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's question is and I'll answer along the way to give you guys some insight into what my thoughts are. So the topic of this Reddit was, uh, I went out tonight, failed miserably in front of my girlfriend and her friend group, please help. So he goes like this, he says, Tonight was one of my girlfriend's best friend's birthdays. She convinced me to go out with her. It's sort of an outside bar place, lots of people. Anyways, I don't know any of her friends, but I told her I would give it my best effort to go out and have fun. So first off, guy, kudos to you for being willing to say, hey, you know what? Even if this makes me uncomfortable, for the benefit of the relationship, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this thing. That's very, very admirable. Now I'll go into later, um, other kinds of conversations you should have had to make sure that this could have gone a little bit more smoothly. But for now, good job. Continuing, he says, uh, then when I got there, friend after friend started showing up. I began feeling immediately left out and having a lot of anxiety. Nobody made an effort to acknowledge I exist. Long story short, I couldn't do it. I straight up walked away and went to my car. Right in front of everyone, I just walked away. I can't explain it. Well, I can explain this. Our bodies have a fight or flight mechanism that says to our bodies, hey, I feel something is threatening. I need to either stay here and fight it or I need to walk away. In the case of anxiety, what can happen is you get into a situation whereby things aren't quite going the way you want them to. You get anxious and your body goes into the mode of, you need to leave right now, this is dangerous. Now, you're not really in any major danger. You're around people. Nobody that you're not talking to is gonna come to you and hit you over the head, but, our bodies can't tell the difference. All it reads is, I'm fearing a thing that's happening, I either need to fight or I need to get away from this, okay? Now, uh, what you could have done with your girlfriend is, prior to this party, you could have said, hey, so I don't know a lot of your friends at this in this particular party situation, so when we get there, I'm gonna need some help. So I need you to introduce me to people as they come in or as you walk up to them because I'm not gonna be the guy that's gonna just walk up to these strangers that I don't know and assume I can start a conversation. You can do that, but it, it can be very, very hard for you. So sometimes just having that conversation with your significant other, it'll let them know that you are open to doing this thing, but in order for it to really go well, they're gonna need to help you along the way, especially with people that you don't know, okay? That's perfectly fine to ask for. Continuing on, so he says, in that moment, I would have rather been shot than have to be around that. And then in parentheses, he says, is it introvert or something else? Well, a lot of it's anxiety, because introverts, like, I'm, a, I'm an introvert, but I also know how to be social, I know how to talk to people, usually, again, people that I know, but that's a different situation whereby, yes, it's because you're introverted, but also because going into a new situation, your brain doesn't quite understand how to be able to connect with people, because you're thinking in your head, you're overanalyzing, what do I need to say? How should I act? What can I do so these people aren't going to reject me when I come up to them, okay? So that's that's a little bit different. Uh, continuing, he says, anyways, I went and sat in my car and became comfortable again. I told my girlfriend to stay and have fun with her friends and that I would be in the car waiting happily for when she was done. I was not upset at all. I just had to get out of there and I would genuinely be happy to sit in my car for hours to myself. Now, that is an admirable thing to say, to say, hey, you can just stay at the party and talk and it's no big deal. But you gotta understand things from her side of things, which is, in her head, she everybody at the party probably knows that you're her boyfriend. So if you leave and just go to the car, now she risks being able, she risks getting asked questions like, hey, so where'd your boyfriend go? Why, why is he in his car? Like, does he not like us? Like, what's going on? So she now has to basically fend for herself at this party, answering all these questions about you that she probably doesn't want to. So while it's admirable to say it's cool if she stays there, the reality is that now puts her in a situation that could make it uncomfortable for her to stay by having to answer all these questions about an action that you just did. Continuing, 
He says, she did not end up staying long with her friends, even though I said it was okay. Like I just explained, you now know why that is. Uh, she said she felt bad and didn't want me to wait. We ended up both going home. I told her I'm sorry and that I just can't do big crowds. I told her I'd be much more comfortable if it was just her and I, even in a big crowd. I just can't be cast to a corner and pretend I know her friends, especially when they couldn't care less about me. Well, here's the reality, guys, that they don't know you. And so it's not that they don't care about you, it's that they don't know what to care about you about because you're new stimuli. Now, again, your girlfriend made an admirable move. She actually came back out to the car. She agreed to leave the party. It doesn't sound like you guys had a fight about it. She was, sounds like she was very, very understanding, okay? So understand that if you are an introverted person or you're a guy that's anxious, then as well-meaning as you wanna be to try to put yourself into these social situations that are brand new, going from it's just you and her to all of a sudden having to meet like 20 of her friends can be very anxiety inducing. So I don't recommend you do that, okay? But that said, your request to just keep it to you and her is also not reasonable because realistically, a woman that likes you and cares for you and enjoys having you in her life is going to A, want you to experience life with her and B, she's going to want to show you off to other people, especially her girlfriends who up to this point, she's been single and has been talking about, woe is me, my love life, I wish I had somebody. And now she has somebody and she wants you to be part of her social circle, okay? It's very important for women because they're social creatures. It's important for them to be able to then include you in some of their social stuff. So how do you as an introvert do this in a way that's not going to cause you to have anxiety or be all in your head about whether or not these people want you around in the first place? What I found worked great for me, quite honestly, was to sit down with your girlfriend and say, okay, you know what? Maybe big parties aren't the way to start off, but hey, why don't we set up a daytime thing where there's like a brunch or a dinner or like a, a golf outing of some kind whereby like one or two of your friends join us. Or if you have another uh, set of friends that are a couple friends, then you can have that couple meet up with us and it'll be like a double date situation. So that way I can just get to know like one or two friends at a time. And so those friends will come along. And in those environments, A, again, she'll be able to introduce you to these people. And then as she's leading the conversation, you'll start to learn more about these individual friends of hers. And pretty soon you'll be able to start your own dialogue with these people. As that happens, you'll start to build up good feelings with them to where it might not be like you're quite their best friend yet, but you'll have a line of conversation and a level of friendship there that can be the basis for you feeling more comfortable around them. So you meet a couple, one friend and then you set up another time to meet another friend or another couple of friends or whatever. After about 10 or 12 of these outings, you will now know somewhere between 10 to 20 of her friends, all right? Then when there's another big gathering and you go to it, and they're all there, you won't feel as nervous because you'll have at least made enough of a connection with these people to be able to, to at least say hi to them when they walk into the party or to be able to start a random conversation with them about something that you may have talked about in previous conversations with them when you were on these solo outings with just you, them, and your girlfriend, okay? So understand, you as an introvert, as much as you wanna not be around other people, the reality is it's not gonna be fair to her to just be like, why can't it just be us two? Because she's gonna want other people around at some point. It can't be just all on your shoulders to keep her entertained or for you and her just to have the interactions, okay? So if that's something that makes you anxious, just keep it to one or two people at a time and build up over time. I've done that with relationships that I've been in and I found that it makes it a whole lot easier when I see these people later on, I can stop, start conversations with them. If the girl that I'm dating at the time and me go to some kind of function where it's her and her friends or whatever, I, I know I can walk around and start little things. And at least it, it also what's important too is if you've met them individually, then when you have these big outings, they'll come in and say hi to you. So if you have that worry about, I, I gotta go up to them first and say hi, that's gonna be lessened a lot because they're gonna see you and know that it's now okay to say hi. At this party, nobody knew you. They don't know what you're there for. You could be the server for all they know. So they're not thinking, I need to go talk to this person that's that's so-and-so's friend. They're just thinking, oh, random person. I, if I need to talk to him at some point, somebody will introduce me to him, but other than that, I don't need to, okay? so. Don't beat yourself up. This is the thing that normally happens. And if you want to better improve your chance of being able to be more social around your girlfriend's friends, this is the best way to go about it. Meet them one or two, or two at a time. Tell your girlfriend, hey, I need help. I need, you, I need you to be able to guide how I get to know them because I'm not gonna be the guy to just walk up as a stranger and think it's gonna be okay to talk about whatever, okay? But have that conversation because this girl seems to have cared about him, right? 
She left the party of her own accord, despite the fact that she probably would have preferred to stay there along with her friends, but she didn't hold it against him, okay? So that's admirable. So now do your part and say, hey, I wanna be able to hang around your friends, but I just need a little bit of help. You do that, and hopefully this will not be a hard situation. Now, if you if you have other things that you're anxious about as it pertains to relationships, I recommend going to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Harry Wilmington, and subscribing. Also, you can go to my website, introvertdatingsuccess.com, and get my eBooks, uh, check out some of my seminars and my programs that are designed to help you become a more confident introvert dater. Thank you for watching this episode of the Introvert Dating Success Show. If you found the info in this episode to be helpful, please show your support by clicking on the tip jar tab, the link of which can be found at the website and in the description below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this episode and catch new episodes right here on YouTube or wherever podcasts can be found. In the meantime, be sure to check out these other episodes so you too can learn to date as your introvert itself while still getting your precious alone time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.